old school lion tamer, baby. Knee in the back. That's got to be pain. Party really lets him out. He's merciful. Hey, he wants to have a good time when he's out there. Hey, this is a hardcore oh, match. Oh, yeah. Right now, folks, I'm telling you, I'm going partying with this man later. Me and this guy. We're getting drunk and <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> there he goes. My God. My God. What's up, buddy? I'm Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> How long have you been wrestling? I was doing back at wrestling in Pride for about two years. Did you really get hurt? A little bit. Did you go to the hospital? No, no hospital. You don't want to do that for neck injuries. Mm, Just no. sleep it off. Is wrestling real or fake? I can't answer that. Was your, your move uh, clearly uh, was real? Yes. That is an actual move, and it does take lots of practice. Did you practice it? No. That was the first attempt. That was the first attempt? Yeah. Oh. That was the first attempt. Have you done the moonsault move since that day? I have not. I think before your match, though, we need to focus on your training. All right. Ready? Let's do it. Done. All right. Woo. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're even. Yeah. What's up, Hey, Daniel, bro. Thanks for helping out, man. First thing I'll show you is called a fat bear. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab you like this and flip you over. <laughs> Body slam. Body slam? This is the one that everyone likes to do. Okay. So you're just gonna come in. Oh. Oh. Slam them right down. <laughs> well, in death lock hole, remember that move? Oh, yeah. I remember that move. Why don't we go over that? But I'll show it to you. You wanna show it I'll to him? Whoa! <laughs> oh. What do you say? You know, you know who my favorite wrestler was? Who's that? Ravishing Rick Rude. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Let's, go. Let's all do it. Let's all do it. Let's go together. Scorpio, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Good Absolutely. luck. Absolutely. My okay. pleasure. Good luck. Good me and you. All right. Oh. oh. Hi, this is Daniel Tosh reporting live. Okay, the world wants to know, are you ready to give another shot? Hell yeah, I'm ready to go. Well. This is going to be one for the ages. Back to you, Brody Stevens. Thank you, Daniel. Brody Stevens reporting live to you from the kitchen window. In the red corner, Lee, the party starter, Weber. Fighting out of the blue corner, from parts unknown, probably Mexico, Paquito Diablo. OK, I want a good, clean fight out of both of you. You speak English? Hey, you speak English? Hey, that's a warning. That's a warning, Diablo. Let's get it on! And we're underway. They're grappling. Lee throws Paquito into the ropes. Oh, Paquito bops with a double axe handle to the jaw. He actually got air. Oh my god, there's a chair in the ring. Paquito swings the chair. Lee wants he hits the referee. Oh my god, the referee is out cold. We need an ice pack. The chair, I hope we have the receipt. Oh, a shot with powder to the face of the little guy. He's stunned. And Lee picks him up for a huge slam. I don't believe it! Lee is attempting to do a second rope moonsault! People, this could only end in disaster. I wish I could reach down and tell him, stop it! Please! It all comes down to this. We make champions in his backyard. Oh my God, Sydney's on WWE. Oh, my. I can't believe it. Ah! Yeah, Sydney's on there. One, <laughs> two, three. Yeah, all because of Sting. I cannot believe this. <laughs> oh my God.
put an inspirational quote on the wall, and now she's hanging a giant clock. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hello? Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming to my farmhouse. I'm just watching a new episode of Fixer Upper. Jojo put Chevron on everything. Oh my gosh, I want to eat her butthole. Where are you from? Tennessee. You special needs? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. No. Okay, no. I, just, no, I, I didn't want to say anything insulting. And it turns out, like, oh, this guy's got problems, and wrestling's the only way that gives him a little bit of happiness. No, not You love needs. wrestling. I love it. Who's your favorite wrestler of Sting. all time? Sting. The man, the myth, the legend. How mad were you at the outcome of Hogan versus Sting, Starcade 97? Sting won. It doesn't matter if Nick Patrick, the referee, had been knocked out. He was the NWO referee. He was cheating anyway, so why well, care if Bret Hart comes in there? He was a referee earlier in the night for Eric Bischoff versus Larry Zbysko, so why not just let him be the referee for that match at the end? I, I was pissed. You see this smirk on my face? Yes. That's me realizing that I'm talking to an insane person. <laughs> You're like the rain man of wrestling. That's not the first time I've heard that. I can't believe it! <laughs> Who are you talking to on the phone? My mom. Why don't you just go upstairs and talk to her? Because I live with my fiance. What? My, my... All right, hold on. My head can only explode so many times. So you are not gay? No. And you mean to tell me you weren't in your parents' basement? Yes. Favorite wrestling memory? That I've seen in person or that I've seen on television? Sure. <laughs> Which one? I don't care. It would have to be Sting coming down from the rafters for the very first time. You didn't see that coming, did you? No. Who's your favorite old school wrestler? Sting. Okay. Sting's been around my entire life. Do you like the Four Horsemen? Oh, love the Four you Horsemen. You did? Oh, don't put those four fingers up in this household. So help me, that's eight. That's not gonna affect me. Do you think you could break out of the Scorpion Deathlock? Oh, I absolutely know how to do it. I've put it on other people before. But can you break out of it? Yes, I can. Huh. You wanna put me in it? Kinda want to. Let's go. I don't think your fiance is gonna like you rolling around on the floor with another man. What wrestler do you hate the most? Brock Lesnar. Chris Benoit. Why do you hate him? I mean, just cause he killed his family. Oh. Seems like a bad dude. Did you see Hulk Hogan's sex tape? Why would you watch a Hulk Hogan sex Because I want to see Hulk Hogan have sex. It's just funny. I wanted to see if when he put a condom on, his penis ripped it off. All right, I got a huge surprise for you. And it's right outside that door. I don't want you don't losing your mind. Me. I don't no. want you I want you to act normal around him. You're about to meet the one and only Steve the Sting Borden. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh yeah! Snap into a slam jam! Sting's not black. Sting's not real. I told you this wouldn't work. Go beat yourself up, Sting. I tell you who I'd like to meet, Mr. Perfect. He's dead. Ha! Ah, not so perfect, is he? What about Yokozuna? Dead. Really? Yes. British Bulldogs? Dead. Both of them? Just the half people cared about. If you build it, they will rumble. Build what? A wrestling ring. In my cornfield. I bought this place from Kevin Costner. Skeezy fella. Used to be his wife. Look it up. I built it. Now what? All right, that was just a joke. No, I'm kidding. Let's go watch him rumble. Let's just get into the good part of this book. Ole got his revenge on Dusty. <laughs> when does it start? Be patient. Be patient. Oh my gosh. They're coming out of the corn. What? It's Ravishing Recruit and Doink the Clown. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Junkyard dog is back from the dead. All right, I can't see anything. Are these obstructed view seats or something? Literally nothing is happening. I can't believe this. The junkyard dog just reversed the power bomb. I honestly think you're making this up just so I don't get pissed that you destroyed two acres of corn. Hey, how's Miss Elizabeth's body holding up in the afterlife? She's wrenching the ravishing Rick Root. Macho Man's gonna be so mad. I right, see the whore. She's always been a whore. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Bam Bam Bigelow just got elbow drop, has a macho man! Can really attractive people not see ghosts? It's 
you see that clothes one? I can't see anything. Oh my gosh, Captain Lou Albano is beating up the ultimate warrior. Okay, yeah, now I know you're nuts. Here comes the big boss man slam. Let's see someone. No, it's just Malachi. Malachi, get back in the corn. They're kicking the crap out of Chris Benoit. A little harder when it's not children and women, right, Chris? You won't believe this. You're right, I won't. What? They're all in big trouble now! It's the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant! Oh, boy! He's four feet taller than the cord if he's an inch! What does that even mean? <laughs> he's climbing over the top rope! Now he's chokeslamming everyone! Andre the Giant's gonna win the Royal Rumble! What? Owen Hart just fell from the heavens and killed Andre the Giant. Now they're both dead. Again. All right, so it's over. I wish Sting was dead so you'd have been able to see him. Now replant my corn. Next question, Jeff, where are you? Right there. Yeah, um, I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. You were awesome. Tell me where you're from? Yes, Daniel. I'm from- Please! Call me the ultimate warrior. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Do you know where I'm from? Parts unknown. Parts unknown! <laughs> what are you doing for a living now? Uh, I'm a area manager with a facilities company. Man, what does that mean? Stuff like maintenance, janitorial accounts, stuff like that. Did any of your employees see that video? Uh, I had a few bring it to my attention. <laughs> and what did they say? It's just Dave, what can you do? <laughs> you think Arn Anderson's a pussy? No, I do not. <sighs> I'd like to get a few minutes in the ring with him. Arn, if you're watching, what exactly were you attending? I was attending something called the Tribute to Starcade in Spartanburg, South Carolina. How'd you get such good seats? I walked in there and bought a ticket. Where was it held at? It was held in Spartanburg, South Carolina, at the Coliseum. That was in a Coliseum? Yes. That looked like a middle school. How many people attended that? I would have no idea. Ballpark, was there hundreds or was there 50? He didn't run anymore after that, so obviously he didn't do too well. Is Brooke Hogan a man? I would have no knowledge of that. I follow the sun that gives me energy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Why did you get so emotional? Uh, it was just an emotional time. Uh, I got to meet some of my favorite wrestlers, and it just got all caught up with them. Did you ever masturbate to Miss Elizabeth? <laughs> Never, not at all. <sighs> she died. <laughs> Drug overdose. What were some of the rumors that you read about yourself? That I was sitting in my mama's basement eating Cheetos in my underwear which is not true because mom and dad never had a basement and I'm not really big into Cheetos and everything. You don't like Cheetos? No. Doritos? Uh, Doritos are good. Do you know that wrestling is fake? Regardless of the, uh, whether it's predetermined or not, they make a great sacrifice to their bodies in the ring, no doubt about it. You know how to reverse a figure four leg lock? Uh, yes, I do. Let me slap that figure four leg lock on you real quick. Do you know how to put it on? Hey, put it on. <laughs> You're gonna reverse it? You're gonna reverse it? Oh! <laughs> All right, Dave, I am a huge wrestling fan just like you. Unlike you, I'm extremely rich and I need a tax shelter. So I've created a charity in your name to honor past wrestling greats.
We are backstage live at Tosh's Pit. With me is the crying wrestling fan, Dave. Dave, the world wants to know, are you ready to award the first ever recipient of the bronze singlet? Yes, I am. Are you ready to do it without sobbing like a huge baby? Yes, I am. All right, take it away, Dave. With his colorful outfits and trusty pet parrot Frankie, Coco Beware was a fixture in pro wrestling for over a decade. It is a great privilege that we honor him with the Bronze Singlet Charity Award. Ladies and gentlemen, Coco Beware! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, the Birdman is fine! Oh, what's going on, brother? It's my pleasure to present you with the Broad Singlet Charity Award. Oh my God! <laughs> Thank you! And Coco, on a personal note. <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> it's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> I know that laugh. That is the million dollar man doing here, man. What am I doing here, Coco Beware? I'm here to claim my award. And I'm going to have that trophy. This is mine. That's my trophy. No, oh, this is oh, it to me. This is like, oh, oh, You know what? If I can't have it, nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. Oh, damn it. Oh, this is Mean Gene Tosh, and this looks like it's spilling over into the ring. Million dollar man is having the short end of this transaction. Looks like Daniel Tosh wants in on the action. Oh my goodness, Sergeant Slaughter clotheslines him. Daniel's reaching and tags Dave. Sergeant Slaughter slaps Dave with the Cobra Clutch. Coco Beware has Ted DiBiase tied up in the rope. Daniel sneaks back into the ring with the Bronze Singlet Award. What's he gonna do with this? He's gonna return it to its rightful owner. Finally, justice. <laughs> this was the greatest day of my life. It's real to me. Thrill me too. When 17 year old Matt Beggs hit the mat last weekend for the Texas High School State Wrestling Championship, he found himself at the center of a national controversy. Mac is transgender, born female, but now identifies as male. A boy wrestling girls. Yeah, people might have booed, because I knew there was going to be booze. What are you doing? Huh? Sorry. I cauliflower in my ear. Trying to make weight, getting rid of all my fluid. You know earwax has fewer calories than ranch? I did not know that. Look it up, dude. Mac, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my underground high school wrestling club, where I'm open to wrestling all genders as long as you're in high school. Well, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Would it be fair to say God cock blocked you? <laughs> uh. How'd you come up with that name, Mac? Well, my real name was actually McKenzie, but I just went by Mac. Mac and Cheese, Mac Macklemore. Little Mac, because I'm like five foot two. <laughs> oh, you're a tiny little fella. <laughs> yeah. You want to talk about a cruel twist of, of, of fate with God. Texas. Texas is actually pretty cool. You enjoy I Texas? I enjoy it, actually. When did you say, all right, this wasn't the hand that I was dealt? Well, I was like, okay, I feel different. Well, maybe uh -huh. I didn't know what to call it, so I came out bisexual. Well, what age is this? Fifth grade. Well, I was at recess and I like came out to like my closest friends. Uh huh. Next thing you know, they're just like like to everybody. It, out in people's not a good thing. No. Nah, but not. in fifth grade, I think it's just so hard to keep a juicy secret. <laughs> I know. Everyone was like, <gasps> I was like, oh well. And then seventh grade, I was like. I actually feel different. Uh -huh. And then my mom, we were in the car and she watched this Katie Kirk show or uh -huh. whatever. Sure. And uh, it was about trans kids and she was like, do you feel like you're a guy? And I was like, I thought, I thought it was weird because I was like, why are you asking me these questions? Like sure, sure. 13, 14 years old, I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, yeah, I actually do feel different. If you put on weight, is it considered trans fat? <laughs> no, I call it fat. <laughs> Talk to me about the whole process of, of, of transitioning. I started out with um, taking my shots first. You do the shots in the ass? Where do they go? Legs. Oh, okay. I always do it either like. You give them to yourself? Yeah. Just one a day? What is it? One and it's like that much testosterone. What about your voice? Are you doing a voice or is that your voice? No, this is my voice. Can you sing? My girlfriend likes to think so, but I disagree. <laughs> How long have you been dating her? 
By the way, can I call her a smoke show? How old is she? <laughs> She's uh, 16. Let's scratch though. that. Let's <laughs> not call her a smoke show. <laughs> so you were forced from day one to wrestle in the female division, but in high school, you were identified as a man the whole time. Mm -hmm. Did you ever lose to a girl? Oh yeah. You did? Yeah. Was she white? Oh, she was actually Mexican. Mexican. Puerto Rican, maybe. Not a lot of Puerto Rican Texans. Are there? There's Puerto Rican Salvadorians. If you call them the same thing at my school, you'll get killed. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, hard line. <laughs> did they force you to use the girls' locker room? They didn't force me, I, I You just... chose to? <laughs> Were you the only transgender uh, kid in your school? I was, and then more people started coming out in high school. Did you ever secretly get mad? Like, hey man, this is, this is... <laughs> This no. is kind of my thing. No. <laughs> you just had your, your breast removed. Yeah. Did you have big boobs to begin with? No. When I had a singlet on, like, it looks like how like I am now. You look like Phil Mickelson. He's a golfer. I don't like his boobs. <laughs> you, always, they, you can always see him in shirts, and I'm like, that doesn't look right. I think he actually might have gotten it fixed. Can we do a before and after and tell me if Phil Mickelson has a chest worked on? <laughs> What's your tattoo mean? Uh, House of the Rising Sun. Are you finished getting tattoos? No. You can cover your whole body? Are, are you guys gonna weigh in or? No. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. I'm ready. <sighs> Think thin. Mac is weighing in at 125. <laughs> Daniel is 183. Jesus, whoa, there it is. 125. Ah! For a second there, I thought I was gonna have to lop off half my dong to drop 60 pounds. Nachos, cotton candy, illegal bets. 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 Hey, Mac, you're about to get testoster owned. <laughs> Shake hands. Yeah, hello. You got it. This bird is a leg. Woke me to let you in. Now, the best part of being a man, showering together. I respect you as a man, but you dress like a bitch. Uh, fair enough. Believe. That's technically a hate crime. This is a question we got a lot. Is Arn Anderson aware of who Daniel Tosh is, and does he know about all the call outs on the Tosh.0? Totally aware of it. Every time I do a signing, at least 10 people will ask me in the course of three hours, what's the deal with this Daniel Tosh trashing you on his show? If you think you can find your way to LA and spine bust the shit out of Daniel Tosh, as a long time viewer of Tosh.0, I'm ready for it. For the longest time, I was signed to a particular company, whether it was WCW or WWE, and I was not allowed to do any outside stuff. Let me just put this out there. I'm no longer signed to anybody. I can do anything I want. So if Daniel wants to upgrade and update the popping off, there may be a reckoning coming. Okay, Boomer. Put some respect on my name. After 11 years of randomly calling out Arn Anderson for no reason other than hating him when I was a child, he finally took the bait. <laughs> I've avoided listening to or being on any podcast that's ever been recorded, but when a cream puff like Arn Anderson shoots on you, you've got no choice but to fight podcast with podcast. That's right, we've got a royal podcast rumble. 
Welcome to the Arn Sucks Podcast. Who's ready for Arn again? Arn says he's going to fly out to L.A. Oh, man. If you think you can find your way to L.A. and spine bust for the shit out of Daniel Tosh, I will hang up right now and make that happen. I'd be happy to buy you two coach seats and a seatbelt extender. The only spine that's going to be busted is yours when you try to get off your recliner in whatever senior assisted living community your family puts you in. Wrestling buffs call Arn a technician. Which is code for unpopular or can't sell merch. The only reason you have a career is because you were riding Ric Flair's sparkly coattails. Woo! You ought to be thanking me for reviving his geriatric doughy ass. All right, if any of my listeners can name a single finishing move that is dumber than the spine buster, I'll give you a thousand dollars cash. Hulk Hogan's atomic leg drop. God damn it! That should have made it five hundred. I'd like to take a minute to thank my sponsors, Me Undies. Way more comfortable than those man panties arm with prance around in. Here's the fun story. On Halloween, this little trick-or-treater came to my house dressed as Arn. Oh, man. I didn't give him any candy. I kicked him right in the kidneys. And you know what his dad said to me? Thank you. Listen, I've been living rent-free in that coward's head since 2009. Now it's time for one of my favorite segments, Arn is bad at wrestling. That's where we rewatch one of Arn's more than 100 embarrassing losses. Television champion, and like I said, Arn Anderson's got it. Got a special treat for you today. Anytime I'm talking trash about Arn, everyone comes out of the woodwork wanting to chime in. Welcome, Hacksaw Jim Duggan to the podcast. Hey Daniel, how's it going, man? How you doing? Mr. Duggan, it's an honor to have you on. Hey, where's your two by four? I had actually dumped the two by four because it had Arn stink of failure clinging to it. I had to get rid of it after wrestling that loser. How easy was it to beat Arn? If he didn't have somebody in his corner, he was no good. He was like a tackling dummy. We all knew that in the back. He'd go down night after night. I beat Arn. Can't even think of how many times. I'm sure you've heard Arn started running his mouth about me. <laughs> That's one of the things Arn's best at. Talk and smack. He can't back nothing up. All he does is yak, yak, yak. Let's go back to that match in Orlando 95. He was uh, disqualified for cheating. That didn't come as a big surprise to any of us. Arn is a noted cheater. He not only cheated me, he cheated Brutus and Barber Beefcake, uh, cheated against Hulk Hogan. I even think he backstabbed Tully Blanchard one time. I won trust Arn. That's why that four horsemen deal is like three horsemen and a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the show, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Well, my pleasure, brother, but before you go, how about you give me a hoe, brother? Let's go, baby. Ho! Ho! show. Make sure you download next week's episode where I give out Arn's social security number. 